It's sure been a bumpy ride, to say the least, during Collins and Martin's tenure with the Tigers. ABC 17's Natalie Jones joins us now live in studio. Natalie, take us back to the beginning of Coach Martin's time in Coma. Andrew Conso Martin took over a program that was in shambles. The Tigers had lost 68 games over the course of just three seasons under former head coach Kim Anderson. And then a then 45-year-old Conso Martin walked in and was supposed to be the light at the end of the tunnel. St. Louis native Conzo Martin. A young man that was born in the state of Missouri who prepped at Illinois, who played collegiately in Indiana. I always thought of Columbia, Missouri as his destination. If Mizzou keeps me for 20 years, then it's my plan to be here for 20 years. This is it for me. But his tenure fell short of that, even though the stars seemed to align. Mizzou felt, felt like home for me, um, so I decided to come back and play here. In 2017, Martin lined up what many, including the team, thought would be an unbeatable roster. The now NBA star Michael Porter Jr., his brother Jonte, along with East St. Louis native Jeremiah Tillman. And I think that we're going to surprise a lot of people with how good we're going to be. Mizzou Arena pulled one of the biggest crowds it's seen in years. <laughs> Only for one of the first blows of the Martin era to happen just 10 minutes before the game tipped off. <laughs> Porter Jr. sat on the bench for that game in the remainder of the season until the SEC tournament in March. So he was in the scores book ready to go, and he just said, Coach, my leg just, it's not feeling right. So, and that was pretty much it. The team went 20-13 and 13 that season, making it just one game into the NCAA tournament, which is the furthest that a Martin Mizzou team has ever made it in the big dance. The team went to the NCAA tournament again in 2021 and lost to Oklahoma in the round of 64. So I do believe there's a process to everything you do, and sometimes you can get lucky and skip some steps. Uh, and you might pay for him down the road. Following that loss, a slew of players transferred out of the program, including starters Mark Smith and Xavier Pinson. I feel like with us, he hit a couple more. Like he was shooting better um, from the three point. Uh, now I feel like he's uh, getting to the get into the lane a lot more. Martin went 78 and 77 all time in Columbia with three losing seasons. Coach, he went gritty, you know. So we, that's that's just how we got to play, and you know. Our coaches be on us. Everybody's got to take that as love. But the team didn't always embrace that with just two starters returning from the previous year. It's a lot of guys that's, that's growing, but it's still areas where they can, where we still can grow. Over the course of his final season, Mizzou lost seven games by 20 points or more, in addition to an embarrassing loss against UMKC at the start of the year. Martin's seat grew hotter game by game, but from the outside looking in, it didn't always seem concerning. What I do expect is I expect to get up tomorrow and, you know, go to church. Um, of course, I count my blessings. Uh, I don't worry about that. I don't. I don't. But keep in mind that Coach grew up in East St. Louis. I mean, I think everything, just like my life, is a boxing match. He defeated cancer in his 20s. You're going to win a few rounds, you're going to lose a free, few rounds. That's what it is. And just completed his 14th season coaching Division I basketball. You start thinking, will I ever get an opportunity to coach at a place like Mizzou? Um, and now to be home, um, just up I-70, is a tremendous feeling. That feeling faded away. It's hard on me as a competitor. But Martin's impact on his players off the court will not. I mean, I'll talk to them until they put me in a casket, so it's not, let's hurry up and say something real quick. I don't need to do that. Well, a national search for a new men's basketball coach has officially begun, and Mizzou's already hired a consultant to help with that search. Now, Andrew and I have already put together a hot board of coaching candidates, and Andrew has more. First, Mizzou basketball star Kim English just wrapped up year one with George Mason. Sean Miller still unemployed after parting ways with Arizona last April. That, that would, would be interesting. Chris Mack, the former Louisville coach, recently under, unemployed after that situation did not work out. Anthony Grant, he's done a nice job at Dayton, including a win over Kansas this year. And don't sleep on TJ Otzelberger. We'll have to get his name right if he gets a job. Ray Francois hired him at UNLV. He is now at Iowa State. We'll have some local scores in just a minute.